Hello, welcome to UTC Heathrow. My name is Wayne Edwards and I'm the principal here. What I'm going to do today is give you a virtual tour of the school in these unprecedented times. So at the front, we're at the front of the school at the moment and we're going to have a walk through the different areas there are within the school and the different subjects and faculties there are and a little bit of an explanation around what we do. So we're in the reception area and as we come through the door we see on our right hand side that we have our partners and all these partners are heavily involved within the UTC and they provide some of the work-based learning that we do as well as at work experience and opportunities for students to learn from each of these partners and industries of what's entailed to be with that firm. As I pan around the reception area we have our vision and our vision is to transform lives through learning and one of the main things we do here is about transforming those lives. As you come through the, the main doors we see our, our building itself. Now the building is made of three floors. You will be able to see our engineering workshop which is at the bottom floor. We have within the, this floor that we're on at the moment which is the middle floor we have some maths and our IT specialism and our science and on the top floor we have our dining hall and we have more English and maths classrooms. And welcome to the engineering department. So as you can see in front of us, we've got four bays and within each bays we have various machinery. As we walk around the, in the engineering department, I'll talk through what we do here, how we engage with the partners and what courses that we totally run. As you can see on the, on the walls and around the building as I do this tour, we have lots of things which talk about our brain, emotion and motivation our values within the UTC about enterprise, transformation, connectedness and empowerment and lots of quotes from lots of famous people and the one you can see in the bottom of engineering is by Carol Dweck and it's about forming connections and how the brain meets the challenge and helps to support learning. In front of me at the moment we're in one of the bays and this bay in particular is used for when we do lathing and within both the BTEC level 3 engineering extended diploma we use those machines to develop the student skills at lathing that's also the same within our level 2 OCR manufacturing units that we do and the qualification that they gain at level 2 as well as the EAL level 2 course and we took concentrate on the hand skills as well so we have various benches with measurements and the students here will start to deburr uh, will develop skills in making and using hand tools. So welcome to one of the computer rooms within the UTC and, and they, we're still on the bottom floor in engineering and within this classroom we do a lot in relation to CAD drawings or computer aided design which forms units in both um, level three and within level two as well. And as part of the design units as well, students who have part of the IT specialism also work in here to develop their programming skills, their cyber security skills and work on their BTEC IT or their computer science courses. Also as part of engineering and then engineers need to be fully adaptable, it's not just all about the machinery, is that the students learn to program in here as part of unit six, as part of that level three qualification on programming within engineering machinery. So this is just a very general overview of a typical IT classroom within the UTC but also of how multidisciplinary that is. As we move along the bays we've got um, pillar drills, uh, milling machines, uh, 3D printers, laser cutters and plasma cutters as well as other electronic machinery which is helped to use as part of routing and lathing um, and a different aspect. This room itself is a big room um, and within this area we do something called the Royal Navy Challenge and we also work with the REMI and do the REMI projects as part of the course that you follow. We have been on trips before and we've been here to um, Toulouse and we went to see Airbus over there in France uh, and their facility and as I said in here we have a plane which our CCF P CCF students are involved with and they are transforming this into a flight simulator. As well as dismantling engines and other aspects, we are actually still building a plane and we're going to move into an area here where this is a real plane 
Um, it's a licensed plane and the students have been building this uh, for the last couple of years and they build it from scratch. And what they do take from this is they learn about the precision of engineering and aeronautical engineering in this development. There is no tolerance on, the, on any of these pieces and the students, if they get it wrong, have to start again. And this plane is licensed and it will end up looking like this when complete. So from the subjects in science at Key Stage 4, students will study chemistry, biology and physics. And once that has happened, we then will make a choice and conversations with yourselves as parents about what course is right for them. Whether they continue on the three science programme or go to the combined science programme called the Science Trilogy, where they will do a qualification worth two GCSEs rather than the three separate sciences. The classroom itself is a typical science area, which you will see. And within here, we do various experiments within the science curriculum and within the individual specialisms of biology, chemistry and physics and A-level physics. So I'm now in the independent learning space and within the independent learning space, we have many computers at sixth form and key stage four use. This is a big area. This is sometimes used for teaching, but generally it's for independent work. So we have areas that students can sit there and do written work or they can go onto the various computers we have here. Someone asked me about the computers that we have. We are a Windows 10 environment um, with an Office 365 environment. And because the specialisms that we offer within there, we do cyber security courses, we do professional qualifications for Microsoft and Autodesk, and students are able to study these so that they can increase their skill level to make them more employable in the future. On my left hand side, we have the math, some of the maths department and the maths department runs over two floors. And within these classrooms, we do A-level maths and GCSE maths um, within there. And the typical maths classroom looks something like this. And as you can see, there are equations over the board. Um, it's a very formal environment and a structured environment. And I know our maths department do really well. The examining boards we study in maths are both are Edexcel, and we do Edexcel A-level maths and Edexcel GCSE maths. In our sciences, we, we cover AQA biology, physics and chemistry and AQA physics. And downstairs in the engineering department, as I said before, we study EAL level two engineering, OCR manufacturing and level three BTEC engineering from Edexcel. And this is where we do our other specialism. Our main specialism within the IT area is the BTEC Level 3 IT, which is done also the same as the engineering as the Extended Certificate Diploma and Extended Diploma. We also do, uh, we are a Palo Alto Academy, so we're able to do cybersecurity networking qualifications and we, our member of staff has also a qualified Cisco instructor and students here have been able to do some of the Cisco qualifications as well. As I said, we also do professional qualifications for Microsoft and Autodesk. And within these classrooms is where you can set those qualifications to gauge those extra skills. We also do GCSE computer science and A-level computer science. And both of those are by OCR um, examining board. And you can look at the specifications on those websites and what they do. So we're gonna go up the middle stairs now, which leads to the upper floor and the top floor of our building. And as we go up these stairs, you'll see straight ahead of you our dining hall space. Um, and here we have very good food. Um, and for the sixth form, they're able to access um, facilities for tea making or coffee facilities within there as well. The space itself is a big area. It's a very good space and it allows the students to congregate. As I move around the dining hall, it's actually an L shape uh, and it's a, a fairly big space. The menu here is very varied and um, we do halal food as well as other types of food. Um, so we cater for all dietary requirements within the UTC. Now combined cadet forces uh, is very prominent here and students gain skills 
from flying to other qualifications, to leadership skills, to working, to teamwork skills that they need in the world of work. It's not just about the RAF or about any of the military forces, but it's about developing the skills that the students need to go forward to the next stage of their career. English, we study AQA English and AQA English GCSE English language and AQA GCSE English literature. As you can see, we're in a typical classroom, um, English classroom. We're able to study, concentrate on those literacy levels so that students are able to get the small group work and small classes that they're able to enhance their learning. Finally, we, we have our hall um, and the hall itself is a, is a large hall um, where, where we do assemblies and other activities within here. This is where we, where partners launch their projects um, and discuss opportunities for apprenticeships um, and university. And on our leaving our wall, we again talk about our learning philosophy of brain, emotion and motivation. And that learning philosophy is important. And that's how we support the students in transforming lives through learning. Thank you for joining me on the, on the tour. Um, I wish you all well, and I hope that you are all safe in this current climate. And I look forward to seeing you all in September on your journey with UTC Heathrow.